Jumping right back at you. You thought you was rid of me, but you're not. So I wanted to kind of give you, this is the new hose. Look at that. That is, oh, that is so nice. That is just unbelievably nice. Look how pliable it is. So this is the brand new hose, which is going to be going in. This is the stuff that came out. And let me tell you, I can't even, I can't even move it. So that's what you end up with nothing wrong with it I mean this is just hose that was put put in with the boat since 93 so we all and I guarantee you they made rubber better in 93 than they do nowadays uh, I'm being serious there's there's just so many things they can't do anymore uh, but I wanted to kind of show you that just the difference and I just noticed it when I went to get this to start to install it and I thought well let's take a few seconds to show you we're saving all this stuff <laughs> He's going to have a hellacious amount of boxes uh, when, when he comes and picks up his boat. But we save everything to show what's been replaced and what we had to replace. And uh, I think it's good. That way the customers are informed. We do, we do update Clyde. Clyde. Old Clyde. Clyde. We're going to have to write his name somewhere here on the boat. We, yeah. we do update Clyde on a daily basis. And he's a great customer. So uh, very supportive. And uh, So anyway, I guess we're going to give you an update here. As you can see, the tanks are in. We have a video of that. And we also have replaced this hose to the vents. And uh, we sealed up the, uh, the out dealies, new gaskets, replaced these, new uh, foam underneath. We'll have to replace this under here to hold it down, but we'll do that next week. We have a lot of half finished stuff going on because uh, we're waiting on parts again. So uh, we're waiting for the two deals to come out of there so we can run the hose. Uh, we're waiting for the two new caps. We could have put the old ones back in because they really weren't that bad of condition, but you know, it's just, at this stage of the game, there was a lot of concern about the fuel. So we're just going with all new. So cut the hose. That is a job and a half. This is some serious stuff here. So, uh, Michael worked back here. He's been working on the batteries. We pulled out the uh, pulled out the old wire, and then Michael's been working on the batteries, getting all of the stuff for the trolling motor ready. We're going to put the perco switch somewhere in here, like we did on the other boat. Um, we're still waiting on our switches. I did, oh, I did tidy this up. So we tidied this up, made this look a lot neater. Made that look a lot neater. So this is basically ready to go back in. Well, we had a tin, but we have to keep getting in there. So finally just decided to leave it out until we end because I keep putting it in and then I have to take it off again. So. Fuel cells basically pretty much done. Really happy, very clean. Uh, cleans it out real well. Uh, of course the valve. We're gonna put the valve back in. We're gonna tilt these up a little bit and then we'll reinstall the valve when we get everything so we can get all the hoses connected. We ran the hose and we forgot to run the hose onto the brackets. So we'll have to make sure we put the hose on the brackets. See? So, that's kind of the update for today, and we're doing some powder coating. So, uh, as you can see, or I don't know if you can see, but hopefully you can see, the fuel system and the tanks are back in place. Uh, a lot of work went into these. Uh, we still have to put the strap in here to hold this one down, which had to be removed to get the tanks out. All brand new hoses, brand new hose, brand new hose clamps, brand new wiring, which is going to come next. Uh, brand new hoses up to the vents up in here. We double hose clamped it because that's the way the boat came, and we decided to send it back that way. So 
sure everybody have an opinion, but it's too late for a pain in the ass to get out. So anyway, I want to show you a couple of things. This is what came out. And unfortunately, I don't think the camera is going to really be able to show you this, but this hose is as old as the boat and obviously is not doing well. It's a pretty good hose, same manufacturer. But when you look at the new stuff compared to the old stuff, there's a big difference. So if you're looking at your boat, you might want to consider those things during the off season. If you don't know what you're doing, taking it, take it to a somebody that knows what they're doing, don't get involved in stuff if you don't understand how to do it. But, and also make sure that you get the right hose. U.S. Coast Guard approved. U.S. Coast Guard approved. We replaced the uh, fittings up here, all the brass fittings, the brass fittings down there. We was hoping to replace these two downspouts, but to be honest with you, we could get them out. And we finally just got to the point where we decided to leave well enough alone. The reason for that is you can't get these tanks anymore. So when we figured that out, we pressure checked the tanks as we've said before. It wasn't high pressure, it was low pressure. We used a bicycle pump, pumped them up two, I think at least three hours, minimum of three hours. I don't know, you did the second one, it was probably over three hours. Uh, but we held pressure. We had, a, we had a slight problem with one of them up here. So we re Teflon taped that little, the big ring and uh, solve that problem. So uh, that's kind of it. The other thing that we noticed, and I don't kind of like the bottom side of these, there's three little holes which this plastic piece sits on. I personally think they should be sealed up because I think if you overfill, it goes down in those holes and gets down in here. And that's not good for your boat. Uh, so that's just my 10 cents worth on that. Uh, really happy with the way this came out. Can't thank you enough. You put a lot of work into this. Uh, Michael put a lot of work into it, but all of us together, we did a, I think we did a really good job and really happy that we've replaced everything that we can. So there's no doubt, there's no hose problems or what have you. We did our best to check the integrity of the tanks. We do have one hose left to replace over there, which we're going to replace from that uh, separator thing out up here. Uh, I'm going to get you to do that later because he's skinny and flexible and he can do stuff like that. So that's kind of the update for today. You is trying to figure out how to put the sump in. Did you figure it out? <laughs> okay, so what's the deal? Just going to stick it in there. You're just going to stick it in there. All right. You is now informed on the correct procedure for installing this pump. Alright guys, so I'm just going to kind of show you what we got done today. We got just over the past couple days, I don't know where I left off. So we went ahead and we got the fuel cells back in. We got them all hooked up, plums. We got all the wiring done. Everything's labeled. That's how we do it here at Mealy Marine. Everything's done. Put some protective tape. So we got all that looking good looking good so we got all that then we spent a lot of time back here in the bilge area we got our trolling motor wired up right here to this uh, circuit breaker we got that label trolling motor power and then we got trolling motor ground we have our jump this is not going to stay here. I'm just um, trying to figure out what I'm going to do with that. So we have that goes across nice and zip tied to our Perco switch. We just mounted it to this boss right here. Here's the actuator for the lid. So we got that. So we have Perco power coming down. And then we have the fuse box power and then engine power. And then the fuse box ground is over there. We have all of these right here on our bus bar. And we also have all of our bilge right here. All the wires are sleeved. Looks really, really good. Coming around, boom, boom. Looking good, looking good. 
here's that we got a new build uh, we're just waiting for it to dry and yeah that'll be that'll be that so yep it's looking really good oh we also uh put a new fuel line right there coming out here that gray stuff just kind of stinks so just went with fuel line and we use those uh kind of connectors that you squeeze I don't remember what those are called and then just a hose clamp up here and a hose clamp down there so yeah that's it for right now crossing things off our list we need to address the vent hose situation but yeah we're getting there that's it for this week guys i hope you guys liked the video if you did please be sure to hit that thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and check back next week for another video where we get into the deep wiring of this 361v until next week, guys.